I can take a gun, I can take my magazine, insert that magazine, I can rack around in the chamber, and I can go and sit it in my glove box or console just like this. What's up everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School and as you can see here behind me, we're gonna be talking about where you can have a loaded handgun in your vehicle with or without a permit here in the state of South Carolina. So let's get into this, okay? This applies to anyone, whether you're a resident of South Carolina or not, okay? You do not have to be a resident of South Carolina for this to apply to you. So what I mean is if you're visiting, this applies to you, all right? So this is the process, whether you're gonna be here in the state visiting, vacation, or if you're just passing through the state, going to another state, this is the process you're gonna need to follow if you are keeping a loaded handgun in your vehicle. This is a loaded handgun. If you're talking about AR pistols, AK pistols, rifles, truck guns, shotguns, bull pups, anything like that does not fall into this category. All right, and you have to follow the state's transportation laws, which we will be having a video coming up talking about that as far as your long guns and things like that. But let's get into this. So as you can see here, with or without a permit. So this is what I mean here. These top three are going to apply for ones that are visiting or passing through the state. Or if you're just not wanting a permit, these will apply to you because they have not passed constitutional carry here that is still being passed around in the Senate and the House and word changes and all that stuff. I'll have a video later. I'm not going to get on that soapbox. But right now, this is where with or without a permit, you can have a loaded gun or loaded handgun inside your vehicle. So inside a closed glove box, inside a closed console, or the luggage compartment in a container with a integral fastener. Now some of y'all are probably like, what do you mean by integral fastener? What I mean is, is that container has to latch or snap shut, or if it's like your soft cases that you can put a handgun in, as long as it zips all the way shut, it has to close completely shut. Now, your Tupperware containers are not going to apply to this outside of, I don't know, maybe a handful. There are some that have latches where it snaps shut, but they're really talking about some type of gun case or backpack or range bag. So that's what they're talking about here with a container with an integral fastener. All right, it, again, it doesn't have to be a hard case. It just has to snap, latch, zip completely shut. The glove box and the console. Now I'm gonna say, depending on your vehicle, is console slash armrest. All right, because for my vehicle, I have a F-150. My armrest is my console. The glove box and the console do not have to lock. All right, they do not have to lock, they just have to latch shut. All right, that's why you don't have to have these inside a container. So what I'm talking about is I can take a gun, I can take my magazine, insert that magazine, I can rack around in the chamber, and I can go and sit it in my glove box or console just like this. No holster, no case, nothing. If it's going in the luggage compartment, all right, I have to have it in a container with a integral fastener. But glove box or console loaded around in the chamber ready to go just like this right here. Now the reason I'm pointing this out is what's exposed on this gun that depending on how or what you have inside your glove box or console could cause this gun to go off. Yes, the trigger. All right, I don't have an empty glove box or console. I've got tourniquets, I've got markers, I've got hearing protection, I've got binoculars, I've got all kind of crap in there. What I'm getting at 
is if I have to slam on brakes and this slides from the back of the console to the front of the console and happens to catch one of those tourniquets or something like that, it'll get in on that trigger and could possibly be enough pressure to cause that gun to go off. Or heaven forbid you're in a car accident and this thing's flipping and flopping around and something gets in on that trigger, it can cause the gun to go off. Now you notice I didn't clear anything or anything like that. You see, I can't even rack this. This is a safety gun for all you freaking keyboard warriors out there talking about, I didn't clear the gun, oh! It's a training gun. The slide does not work. It does not work. It just shoots a little laser out of it, all right? So before y'all need to start on that shit, let me just go ahead and quash that. But again, my recommendation, at least put it in a holster before you put it in there, okay? Now, there are some companies that make holsters that you can mount inside your glove box or your console. But I'm not saying go spend a crap ton of money. Just get you a cheap holster, just something to cover that trigger up while it's in your glove box or your console and something that's easy to take it out if you do have to use it for protection. Now, we're gonna move on. CWP only. So these are spots where you can have the gun in your vehicle once you have your concealed weapons permit. You're still gonna have these three up here. Like I said, with or without a permit, these here are only with a permit. That's your only option is with a permit. Now, with that permit, you get under the driver's seat in a container with a integral fastener, same kind of container we talked about up here. I know there are some vehicles that have little drawers under the driver's seat and sometimes under the passenger seat. Unless that drawer latches, meaning you gotta push a button or pull a lever to open that drawer up, you have to put this in the container, then in that drawer, just to make sure everybody understands. Now again, you've got your permit, so on your person will now be legal. And now with your new open carry law with training, so what that means is, is open carry with training act, means once you have your permit, you will have the option to conceal carry or open carry. All right, so now you can actually openly carry it in your vehicle. Stick it in your cup holder. The magnets, holsters that you can mount to the side of the console or up under your dash or steering column, this is when this was apply. But again, this is only once you get your permit. And for you people out there that want to start on violation, second amendment, right, this and that, I totally agree with you, but we have a legal system. Unfortunately, that legal system does not mean it's a justice system, and that does not mean it's a constitutional system. So before you all start hitting me up and beating me up over shit like that, I'm only telling you what the legal system says. Whatever you do is on you and you gotta sit there in front of that judge or jury and plead your case. So I don't wanna hear any of this bullshit and y'all starting on me about this. I'm only telling you what the legal system says. It's not a constitutional system. All right, it's a legal system. This is what the law says. This is what the legal system says. So that's the only time you can openly carry it in your vehicle is once you have your permit. Now, that does differ from state to state. This is not the same spots where you're gonna be able to have it going into another state. It is your responsibility. You can't play a dumb card like you would, oh, I didn't know the speed limit was 65, I'm sorry. They're not gonna let you play that here. You're a grown adult, you're a responsible adult, you have a firearm, you better check those laws. Now, in the links in the description, I will have ways that you can go in and check this out. There's nothing that you have to pay for. These are all free options for you to go in there and check out, but there will be links down in the description for you to go in and be able to find this information out. If you go in and read some of the laws and you're a little confused about what it says because I've been confused about what some of our law or what other states laws say, I went as far as calling a state trooper's office. Hey, I'm coming to your state. I'm gonna have a handgun. This is what I'm reading. I don't quite understand it. Can you please help me? They transferred me over to somebody that was able to answer my questions. 
So you can go that far with it. But I'm going to provide you with some great options that are in layman's terms that will help you understand this. But again, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be glad to help you. I don't know every state's laws. I have to look at this stuff when I'm traveling. I know South Carolina's a little bit of North Carolina, a little bit of Georgia, just because they're right here where I'm at. But when I'm going past Georgia, Florida, Tennessee, North Carolina, places like that, you know, I'm looking. So if you've got somebody out there saying they know everything, they're full of shit. All right. I know South Carolina. This is what South Carolina says. So again, just to be clear, with or without a permit, closed glove box, closed console, does not have to lock, it just has to latch. So meaning again, push a button, pull a lever to open it up. Luggage compartment in a container with the integral fastener, that container has to latch, snap, or zip all the way shut. Once you have your permit, you still get the top under the driver's seat on your person or openly in your vehicle. Just a quick recap there. And this applies to whether you live here or not. Visiting or passing through, here's where you gotta have it. Again, if you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me. If I'm tied up with a class or working with a client, leave me a voicemail or bear with me. I will get back to you as soon as I'm available. But I, again, I'll have links down in the description. Links are on my website. I've got help anywhere you need to go. My YouTube page, my social media, or my website. So please, folks, make sure you follow what it says for South Carolina. Make sure you follow for what it says for Georgia or wherever you're going. It's a legal system, not a justice system. Legal system, not a constitutional system. All right, we got to follow what the law says. Do I agree with some of this stuff? No, but I don't want to take that chance of pleading the case and ended up with a judge or jury that might not be a judge or jury of my peers. Questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I hope this helps everybody. Stay safe and always remember, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead, trained to live. See you on the range.